Hi, this is Matt from RecordingHacks.com and MicrophoneParts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. But this is not just a cosmetic upgrade, although it's true that the mic in my right hand is a genuine eBay refugee. It looks like it fell out of the band's van and rolled down the highway at 60 miles an hour. But the critical problem with this microphone is not the shell. Rather, it's everything inside the shell. We can change the capsule and the circuit. In fact, we have a do-it-yourself modification kit that yields a microphone that will rival anything else in your mic locker. I'm talking about tone, frequency response, sensitivity, distortion, self-noise. When we're finished with this microphone, it will stand up to boutique commercial brands that cost three to five times as much. Let's start with the circuit. Our donor microphone has a circuit board like this. It's a surface mount implementation of the Sheps transformerless design. It's actually not terrible. It turns in relatively decent noise and distortion performance. But the JFET isn't biased properly, or in fact selected properly, for this circuit. The polarization voltage is too low. In short, this implementation leaves a lot of performance on the table. We can fix all those problems. Let's take a look at the replacement circuit from microphoneparts.com. It uses high quality parts throughout. 1% resistors, imported WEMA film caps, long life Panasonic electrolytics. We use a vintage Siliconix JFET, which we bias individually for every kit. This circuit board also features a cardioid omni pattern switch. How do you get one of these circuits? You can buy this as a kit from the microphoneparts.com website. Okay, now for the capsule. Although this microphone has been described as having a large diaphragm capsule, it does not. The capsule looks like this. It's a small diaphragm, 17 millimeter capsule surrounded by a brass ring. Now I've measured a bunch of these on a swept sine wave rig and I've found them to be very inconsistent. Although in general, most of them have a two to four decibel cut or dip around eight or nine kilohertz and then a three to five decibel boost at 12 to 16 kilohertz. In short, it's not a very smooth frequency response and in my experience, it's not a very flattering sound for most sources. So the biggest bang for the buck in this microphone is to change the capsule. And that's actually true whether or not you change the circuit board. We make three different models of large diaphragm replacement capsule, all of which fit this microphone easily. The most popular model is the RK47, which will give this mic a FET47 sort of sound. This capsule is based closely on the design of the U47 FET47 capsule, although we use thinner diaphragm material to improve articulation. Also available is the RK12, which is our version of the edge terminated AKG CK12. This will give the mic a C12 or Elam 251 sort of sound. We also make a capsule called the RK87, which can be used to produce anything from a very flat U67 sound to the classic U87 sound, depending on how much high frequency attenuation is built into the circuit. The combination of these capsules with this circuit yields an extremely high performance microphone. Sensitivity ranges from 35 to 50 millivolts. Self noise is around 10 dBA, which is phenomenal and the tone is wonderful. Customers tell us these are their favorite microphones. They've won shootouts against every brand you can name. Lastly, let's talk about cosmetics. Changing this microphone's grill is very easy. Simply unscrew the old one and screw the new one in its place. We also recommend painting the body, but there is a trick to this that I'll show you. First, scuff the body with fine sandpaper. This will help the new paint adhere. Then use masking tape to cover this recessed lip and the threads inside here. This will prevent the finished mic from humming. The body should now look like this, ready for paint. So that's the mod. New capsule, new circuit, new grill, new paint. Basically, we changed everything. We've taken this microphone from one that looks like it lives at the bottom of the drummer's gig bag and turned it into something that the band will be fighting to use. We've had great success with this mod, and I hope you do too.